NASA this week previewed the Martian launch of its Ingenuity helicopter. It rides aboard the agency's Mars rover Perseverance. NASA Planetary Science Division Director Lori Glaze says the future of Mars research may depend on Ingenuity. Ingenuity will open new possibilities and will spark questions for the future about what we could accomplish with an aerial explorer. Could we image areas not visible from space or that a rover couldn't reach, like shadowed craters with seasonal water flow? The way culminating Glaze adds the aerial mission could shape how drones support future missions with humans. Also having made the trip from Earth to Mars is a small piece of fabric from the plane the Wright brothers used in their historic first flight in 1903. Now, less than 120 years later from that historic flight, NASA will attempt launching a craft on another planet. Ingenuity's first flight is not expected before April 8th. On Earth, meanwhile, NASA completed an eight-minute hot fire test in Mississippi. The test of NASA's space launch system simulates a trip from the ground to orbit. The agency cut short a similar test in January, but with this week's success, NASA moves closer to another manned flight to the moon as part of the Artemis program. Finally this week, an exploration of the Mariana Trench, the deepest point on Earth. Richard Garriott just finished a trip there. It is uh, almost 11,000 meters of seawater deep. That is uh, deeper than, the, uh, than Mount Everest is high above sea level. Uh, by a few, a couple thousand meters at least. This is Richard Garriott. I'm here with Victor Vescovo. We are in the submarine limiting factor. Garriott and research partner Victor Vescovo collected water samples to study, among other things, microplastic contamination. Garriott is the only person to have been to the Mariana Trench, the North and South Poles, and the International Space Station. Bon voyage. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.